What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're doing another Rainbow Unit Showcase with the brand new AGL Turles' best friend, AGL Great Ape Turles. The funny thing is, yesterday I made an Instagram post about this guy at Rainbow Status and a bunch of people thought he was the new Turles and they were like, Holy crap, dude, you already rainbowed him? You freaking whale! How many stones did he drop on the new banner? And I was like, guys, it's okay, calm down. This is the Great Ape Turles, not the brand new Turles, who, by the way, does look a lot like the Great Ape Turles when he transforms, but nonetheless, they're completely different cards. I only have one copy of the new Turles, and that's all I plan to have for quite some time, because I'm not summoning any more on his banner, so dupes will have to wait for when he returns on future banners. But anyways, even though this guy isn't the new Turles, I want to show you guys that he is still an absolute monster, especially linked up with the new Turles on the movie bosses category team. So let's take a quick look at this card first before we jump into the showcase. These are his stats at rainbow status. Um, they're not the most impressive, but they're not bad. Now let's go up here. His leader skill is a rainbow type leader skill, basically gives all types T plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Not amazing, but you're not going to be using him as a leader in most cases. Um, his super attack causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun, which I believe is about 50%. So he stuns quite often, at least for those enemies who can be stunned. And for his passive skill, he gets T plus 3, attack plus 90% with a chance to turn into a great ape up to 2 times. And last but not least, these are his hidden potential skills that I went with. I went with 15 crit, uh, 11 additional, and everything else is pretty standard. That's what you usually go for with most units, unless it's a special case like the Gogeta's. But, you know, I think this is the best way to go for him. And for his links, he has Destroyer of the Universe, Prepare for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. La oh, I almost forgot his categories, of course. He's got Low Class Warrior, giant form and movie bosses. Now, let's go back here. This is the team we're taking. Of course, we're doing a movie bosses team. There is the new tier list that I pulled. If you guys haven't seen, obviously it's a spoiler for yesterday's summoning video. I did manage to pull him, but if you haven't seen the video yet, I would still highly recommend you go check it out because it was pretty fire and both me and my girlfriend both pulled fire. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't yet. And this is the rest of the team. I think it's pretty solid. I'm just, I've, honestly, I've had so much fun testing this team out. I did play around with it a bit before I made this video. And, yo, it's just a really fun team. It's been a long time since I had an opportunity to run Cooler, um, to run Janemba, and they're just like really, really awesome units that deserve more run. And now I'm so happy that the Movie Bosses team will allow me to play with them more. So, we're gonna jump right in. This is uh, Boss Rush 3, I believe. We're probably not gonna actually do all of them, I'm guessing. For a 15 to 20 minute video, it's probably going to be about 2 to 3 of the fights, which should be okay. It should give you us a good idea of how good this great ape turlis is. And, uh, you know, it's also going to be a bit of a showcase of the movie bosses category, at least by accident. But nonetheless, you guys will get to see that this category is absolutely amazing. So here we go. Um... I really want the Turles to link up with the Great Ape Turles. As you can see, the Great Ape Turles is the last guy, so he'll come back in two rotations. So we're going to keep this Turles in rotation here, and we're going to let Cooler go first. Cooler, by the way, if you guys haven't tested him out yet, he is amazing. He is the best 120 extreme lead, in my opinion. He does a lot of damage. Let's just see what he does here. 1.6 mil. 1.6 mil attack stat, and he also has the guaranteed second attack that could be... And, and just look at that, double super. <laughs> there you go, I was just gonna say, has a chance to be a super attack as well. So there you go, first stage of Super Saiyan 4 Goku, done. Moving on to the Great Ape version now, okay. So we're gonna keep Janemba in rotation because I wanna show you guys just how good he is as well. I know Janemba doesn't get a lot of love when people pull him, they, they kind of despair. They're like, oh man, I wish I pulled something else, but nah, man, <laughs> nah. Janemba is an absolute monster and you should be happy when you pull him, 1.2 mil attack stat. He didn't get the dodge off in the beginning. He has a 30% uh, chance to dodge, by the way. Let's see if he can dodge this one here. There we go. Yo, everybody is showing off their strong suits, man. This is awesome. And of course, this Golden Frieza is an absolute monster as well. It's gonna do a nice amount of damage there, and also he tanks like crazy. So the reason, I'll get, get back to you know what we're showcasing here. So we got the Turles with the Great Ape Turles here. 
The first one is the Great Ape Turtles. The second one is the uh, new Turtles. I'll just show you guys why they're so amazing together. So. First of all, uh, well, I mean, it's mostly the links, right? Mostly the links. They both have Destroy of the Universe, which is a 25% attack buff. They both have uh, whew, Big Bad Bosses, which when activated is another 25% attack buff. So that's 50% so far. They both have Fierce Battle. That's another 15%. That's 65%. And last but not least, I believe they both have Thirst for Conquest as well. I believe they do. I'm 99% sure. So that's 80% when Big Bad Bass... Big Bad Basses. Big bad bosses that's what the link is called it's activated they give each other an 80 percent attack buff from the links alone and don't forget don't forget that turtles also does um gives all allies key plus two and attack plus 40 percent so it's a total of 120 percent total attack boost when the two are linked together absolutely insane so you guys will get to see Get a little taste now of what this Great Ape Turtles can do, and I know a lot of people weren't paying attention to him before the Movie Bossy category came out, before the new Turtles came out, but now you should definitely be paying attention to him because he is an absolute beast. Let's see. 1.28 mil, alright, and it's gonna hit for 1.3 mil. Guys, God, okay, he, didn't get the, he didn't get the stun off, but nonetheless, that's crazy, that's crazy. And None the, uh, when you uh, get the transformation off as well with the new Turles, it's going to be even better because when Turles transforms, the, the new Turles that is, he actually gets an attack buff on his passive too. So like this, this is just going to be such a strong rotation, guys. And I hope we get to see that in a second. Um, the Turles transformation happens, I believe, when he's when you're below 80% HP. You have, what is it? I think when you're below 80% HP, you have a chance to transform for three turns or something like that. Uh, I don't exactly remember i'm gonna have to actually take a look at it but we'll, we'll get to that we'll get to that we're gonna finish off goku here first but guys I'm, I'm i'm sure a lot of you were expecting an attack stat like that from the great ape turtles because these great apes usually aren't the most exciting units but now that the new turtles is out now the movie boss is out and now that the great ape turtles can link with the new turtles he's just a freaking freaking monster and let's, let's let's try to get some more nice numbers for him now okay we got we got him back in rotation oh my god okay we also got the other turtles in rotation too so, I think it's about to get crazy, guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got, we got the Turles transformation off. Here we go. Oh, that's such a cool transformation animation, man. Yo, these guys are doing such a good job with these animations these days. Rip to all the old Gokus with all the, just like the basic Kamehameha animation because these new Super Attack animations and transformation animations are just looking so freaking nice. Um, okay, so... We're gonna actually, let's see, we're gonna, okay, look at this, okay. So like, if you don't really know, if, if you aren't very familiar with these cards, you would think that these two cards in the beginning are pretty much the same card, right? They look almost exactly the same, except this guy has his mouth open, so we know that he is the Great Ape Turtles, whereas this guy has his mouth kind of like in a, in a snarl or like a grin, I guess. So we know that's the transformed, um, what do you call it, transformed new AGL Turles, leader of the movie boss category. Okay, so what do we do here? Let's put Turles in the front here. The great Ape Turles, that is. So we can see his attack first in case, you know, one of them kills off the Vegeta. And then hopefully we can also get the attack off with the transformed Turles too. But if not, he'll come back in two turns. Okay. Oh, 1.28 mil. Oh, I just noticed actually. So almost 2 million. I just realized that I should have actually put him in the middle. Actually, no, I shouldn't have. Because the thing is, the Turles, when he transforms, actually doesn't give a 40% attack buff anymore. He's not a support unit anymore. He only has... I'm pretty sure he only does... He's, he's like a hitter after that. So let's see here. Passive, attack and defense plus 130%. And super class enemies, defense minus 80%. That's okay, that's our, right. So he's no, no longer a support unit after he transforms, which is why we didn't get an extra buff with the two Turles on rotation. Nonetheless, that was crazy damage. Almost 2 million from Great Ape Turles. Um, we're gonna put Cooler and Janemba in rotation now. And that's the rotation I like to go with. So uh, when you don't have LRs on your team, you usually want to go for uh, AGL Turles and Great Ape Turles. And then the other rotation, if you have the units, is Physical Cooler and Strength Janemba. And that will be those will both be very very hard hitting rotations for you. If you have the LRs, then it's gonna be different with the LR Bojack and the LR Broly. Also, if you have LR Broly plus his TUR, you can run those too. I personally didn't choose to run LR Broly with his TUR because that rotation is very, very 
glass cannon <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say? They, 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 it's, it's like a glass cannon rotation, right? Because um, he... Uh, Broly loses defense. Well, both Broly's, the TUR and the LR, they both lose defense when they super attack. So they're not going to be able to take a hit. And this team already, for a category team, doesn't have a ton of... Um, it doesn't have a ton of HP. So, oh, we're gonna see Turtles now doing his super attack, the transformed one that is. 1.7 mil, and a really, really cool super attack animation nonetheless. Here we go. But yeah, um, they just can't take a hit, and this, this team doesn't have a ton of HP, so if you're doing harder events, then it's gonna be a little bit harder to survive. Just like um, Resurrected Warriors. Like, when I run Resurrected Warriors, I sometimes have to be a little bit careful, because honestly, there are times that I don't think about the fact that I don't have as much HP as I do with the other teams because Resurrect Warriors, um, the Frieza only gives a 130% buff to HP. So usually you're sitting around like 350k HP and there's times where I die on things like the UI Goku event simply because I don't really pay attention to my HP most of the time when I'm running things like Gotara or Fusions where you have like 500k plus HP. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is basically I'm not running the Burleys because you have low HP here and that coupled with the low defense means that you could die like on harder events. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I like to go with and it's working pretty well. I'll be honest, it's working pretty well. Uh, both Turlises, the 8th grade 8 Turles and the new AGL Turles can both kind of take a hit. And ooh, yeah. And obviously Janemba can dodge and Cooler has tanking as well. So it's a bit more of a tanky setup here. And we got the Great Ape Turtles transformation off. You know what? This this could be part of the showcase as well, so I don't mind that. Hopefully we can get a super off here. Yeah, we can. There we go. It's not gonna be anything crazy. It's gonna be like a 600k-ish attack stat. So I mean, you're still you're still invulnerable here. So this actually will be a very very useful mechanic on Super Battle Road, just like how on Super SDR the SSJ3 GT Goku when he transforms into the gold when he transforms into the Golden Ape. You can survive for an extra two turns, which actually does help quite a bit when you're trying when, when the enemies are hitting you for like 50k to 100k, maybe 150k with their supers. It really, really helps to have a couple turns of invisibility. So make sure that if you have this guy, take him on your team for super super battle road when you're using your extreme physical team or not physical extreme AGL team, and it will help. It will help. Trust me. Okay, let's get 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 these turns out of the way though, because we're we don't really want to see the Great Ape transformation as much. We want to see him in his regular. There we go, regular Great Ape form. Oh, awesome! So this is gonna be sweet rotation because we got this guy and we got this guy. So we got the double support going for the Turles. Let's see some nice numbers. Although we do have type disadvantage, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna try to not get the Dokkan attack off on that next turn, so that. This, like the turn after, we can get a Dokkan attack off with him. 654k, but you guys saw that. 1.4, almost 1.5 mil attacks that. Mm. Pretty nice. Pretty nice for a non Dokkan Fest unit. You can get him in the general pool. He's on every single banner. And if you guys are able to invest some orbs into him, if you have pulled the new Turles and you can run a solid move bosses team, I honestly think that it's worth investing some orbs into him. Because a lot of people yesterday on my post, they were like, you know what, I can rainbow this guy too, or I have him with two dupes or three dupes or whatever like that. I want to see if it's worth it to invest any orbs into him. And I think so far we can say that if you... Oh, crap. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So we're going to get this Dokkan attack off here. That's okay. And we failed one, of course. Ah, oh, man, that's frustrating. But nonetheless, I guess you get to see what a beast cooler is now. Who is an integral part of this team, so... I don't feel too bad about it. What we're gonna do to make up for the fact that we didn't get the Dokana attack off with the Great Ape Turles, wow, 3.2 mil crit. My cooler has two dupes, by the way, is that I'm gonna use a Deborah cookie for him next turn, and oh, okay. <laughs> wow, transforms again. Um, Am I just unlucky? I, I, I mean, I, I guess it could be lucky depending on what what you're going for, right? If you're on Super Battle Road, you're super happy that this is happening, but I'm not necessarily very happy when this is happening during my showcase, because he does a lot less damage in his Great 8 form, even though he's invulnerable, than his regular form. But am I just, like, unlucky in this sense here? Or does he just transform a lot? Like, let me know if you guys have played with these Great Apes a ton, because it seems like this guy is transforming a ton, 
and I don't want him to transform right now because it's not showcasing his full power potential. But um, hey, there you go, guys. <laughs> As you can see, um, they they you know they transform quite a bit apparently, and they can do quite a bit of damage still, even though it's not as much as they normally can. And also, of course, invincibility. Can't go wrong with invincibility. Um, I heard actually that on JP, well, I think it is happening for sure, is that they are actually changing up the Great Apes. So that, oh, uh, let's put, yeah, let's put him in the middle here. They're changing up the Great Apes to, well, it's basically a buff to the Great Apes where they actually retain their um, potential system buffs so that they will do more damage if you haven't invested more into them when they transform and also they can crit and do additionals as great apes which they can do right now when they transform here they become new units they don't have the potential system buffs and things like that which kind of sucks because if you have like a rainbowed you know agl great ape turtles like i do or a str super saiyan 3 gt goku they're not going to be nearly as strong as they could be with the potential system buffs so jp's getting that hopefully global will get that sometime in the near future and we can all be happy <laughs> we can all be happy because that is something that's a quality of life change that will definitely make these great apes a lot more viable a lot more fun to use and i don't necessarily understand why they can't just implement the things like this on both versions at the same time and look at that cooler beating himself up <laughs> i always love seeing that when when, you, when like you're fighting a unit with the same unit or like an enemy with the same unit and they're just like beating themselves up it's fun um hopefully whoo janimbo might finish him off here Okay, we're good. We're good. Come on, get some more dodges up. Ooh, Ultra Instinct Janemba coming in. Let's go. <laughs> so our um, our turtle should be able to finish off this fight on the next turn. Here we go. And I'm going to actually use a Debora cookie here so that we can have a bit of a fun nuke test here. It's not going to really... Up. Oh, well, there's not a ton of... Well, um, it's something. It's something. But it's not like you're, something you're going to be doing regularly when you're just like you know grinding events things like that but it's still something fun to do i like to do it on all my videos for showcases so let's see what this hat does 1.7 mil can we get a crit off we haven't got a single crit in this video yet and that's not gonna be a crit either all right you know what turtles doesn't want to crit for us that's fine you guys still saw how freaking amazing this unit is um he's not the new turtles but on average actually he does more damage than the new turtles because the new turtles is you know, before transformation at least, relegated to more of a support role. The best support role, by the way, in the game right now, best support in the game is the brand new Turles. But nonetheless, um, you know, he's not going to be hitting as hard as this Great Ape Turles here. So the Great Ape Turles is actually going to be one of your main damage dealers, main hardest hitters on this team until the Turles transforms. And I know, I just hope that, you know, you guys got a better idea of what this guy what? Nope, nope, nope. This guy can do on a movie boss's team at 100%. And if you guys were kind of, you know, on the fence about investing orbs into him and you pulled the new turret list, then I say just go for it. He's worth it. He is an absolute beast. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'd like to see, and you want to see more of it, then maybe just maybe hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and also make sure to follow me on instagram at tiger media if you haven't yet that's all from me hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out